Hi, my name is Ellie Reback. I'm a physician at RMA New Jersey, Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey, primarily based out of the Englewood office. I also see new patients at Basking Ridge and Eatontown. I grew up in North Jersey, and I currently live with my wife and children just a few blocks away from where I grew up. Growing up, uh, in my family, in my extended family, uh, many of uh, my uh, cousins, uh, aunts, uncles were blessed with large families. Some of them dealt with infertility. Uh, and even as a young child, it was uh, something that uh, um, I could perceive. And uh, I carried some of this with me through uh, into medical school. I was an undergraduate at Yeshiva University where I majored in biology. I then took two years off where I uh, pursued a master's in medieval Jewish history while I was attending rabbinic school at Yeshiva University. Afterwards, I attended medical school at Johns Hopkins in Baltimore. And I lived in Baltimore for about a decade, uh, practically uh, the only time that I've been out of North Jersey since my youth. Uh, I went to Johns Hopkins for medical school, and then I uh, did my OBGYN residency at Johns Hopkins uh, um, thereafter. I then came back to New York. I performed my fellowship in reproductive endocrinology and infertility at Albert Einstein College of Medicine and Montefiore Medical Center. Um, and uh, subsequently, I now work for RMA New Jersey. I've always been deeply inspired by my father. My father is a rabbi in our community in uh, Passaic, New Jersey. My father, from my, a very young age, um, insisted that if I choose to be a physician, and I guess he had some forethought and some uh, foresight that I, uh, I might just uh, choose that as a career, that I should choose to be a physician in the spirit of Maimonides, a physician who's looking to advance medicine, advance knowledge, and to really be someone who helps patients um, as a compassionate caregiver. In my community, I, I, live, I live in North Jersey, a, a place where I grew up. I see many, many patients um, who uh, are, are patients of ours at RMA New Jersey. Um, I see them in the supermarket, at the local pizza store, at the bowling alley. I always warn them from day one if I see that based on their address, they live not far from me. I always tell them, as a fertility doctor, it's a sensitive field. Some patients do not want the physician coming over and showing a familiarity. I'm not a dentist. Everybody goes to a dentist. I'm the fertility physician. But I tell them if they ever come over to me or if they acknowledge any familiarity, I'm so happy to reciprocate. Uh, I even answer questions for some of the more uh, brave patients on the spot. The first step is to be extremely honest with patients. Patients deserve a lot of um, empathy and they, they, they get that uh, at RMA, not just from the physicians, from the nursing staff, all the administrative staff, but they also deserve an honest appraisal. No two patients are the same. Um, and an honest appraisal begins, of course, with the patient's age and the specifics of their care um, and so forth. I give them that honesty and I tell them, whatever course ultimately we decide on, they're the quarterback and I use that term all the time, my job is to counsel them and give them the top of the line best advice, both in fertility, embryology, genetics, um, but ultimately they'll make the final decision. Dealing with infertility is not like dealing with high blood pressure and I tell them that we want their journey with us to be efficient, as minimally stressful as possible and as quick as possible, and uh, that I personally will help them every stage uh, of the road as we get them to that eight or nine week uh, pregnant visit when we can happily discharge them. From the get-go, I tell my patients that the happiest moment in our office, literally one can almost perceive the balloons coming from the ceiling, is uh, about eight or nine weeks when we discharge them to the care of their obstetrician. At RMA New Jersey, we're committed to meeting the cultural needs of all our different patient populations. In particular, regarding the Orthodox Jewish population, we have a commitment at RMA um, both for religious observation in the laboratory. We have an in-house mashkiach um, from the community who's available literally 24-7 to enable hands-on hashgacha for our patients. So our patients can be extra assured there's an extra level of protection. I'm at work at six o'clock and uh, I begin morning monitoring, which is ultrasound monitoring for our patients undergoing fertility treatments. Um, 6 a.m. is quite early, but at RMA we're committed to having 6 a.m. monitoring to enable patients to get to wherever they have to be. It's uh, very important for patient convenience uh, during the time that they're with us and it really helps minimize their stress. I feel immensely rewarded. It's really a privilege. The, 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 the choice of uh, practicing in assisted reproduction, uh, it's really a mission and it's a, it's a tremendous privilege. Um, there's few uh, fields in medicine that can make such an overwhelming impact on a patient's life. Um, it's emotionally gratifying and there's few fields in medicine that's as uh, intellectually demanding um, as reproductive endocrinology.